Burgled up here at the 3699 Ranch Monday afternoon, 6.30 in the evening. And I'm not seeing the Purple Martins out here like they were last night. I'm pretty sure they went southbound. And this morning I was looking for them. And I did see one or two out in my yard. And that's kind of what happens. There'll be a couple, like one or two of them. And they'll go back to the pond with me and get a drink of water. And give me a little air show and keep me company. And I sure do miss them when they leave, but that gang, that's what that means. They're, they come through and pick up everyone how they do. And I, I was kind of hungry for pizza. I hadn't had any in a while to put my bell pepper and onion on. And uh, all that pepperoncini pepper, I need to put that on there. Um, went over to the grocery store. And that big grocery store, I come out and there's a girl with a frown on her face and she's got her groceries in her little thing in her purse and she's about to cry or she is actually crying I said you lock your keys in she goes well I lost my keys she goes oh my god they're in there and I went over to the bike and I pulled out my little tool that little airbag thing I got and I was like well you know I don't I haven't used this and I put it in there she goes well I don't know either and what do we do? And it's like, I haven't seen anybody around here. I don't know what they do. I said, I figure it happens all the time. I don't know. And she went in the store and came back out with uh, plastic covered wire hangers. And she was real quick about it. So she was like, you can go ahead and take off because, uh, you know, and she's on the phone with her husband or something or other. And Bob said it wasn't her car, but we, we got into her car with this little bag. And I still. I stuffed it down through the top in the windowsill. It was a four-door sedan. And I pumped it up. And the more you pumped on it and it opened up, the more you could get a hold of it and pull it open. And I grabbed a piece of black dyed wood out of the mulch flower bed, a big piece of wood, and ran it down the side as a wedge and a stop to open the door up enough to where we could get the wires in and this is the wire that she made and the door lock was up like right there and she was poking on it and I was too and we tried to do it together and then um, yeah this is the one that she made which was pretty good and I just love the challenge and that's what I was saying to her and uh, I took my this guy here and I made this right here with it this this is that uh, plastic covered wire hanger and I, I wrapped it around the shopping cart to get the angle on the bend and it wasn't enough of an angle when I had it around the lock so I, I put a crimp on it like this kind of how you would do you know you, you think about what you're doing Kind of a V interference fits what you want and put it in there I didn't have the right angle I pulled it back out bend it put it in there and I kind of put a, a rocking motion on it I had it around around the lock and I just rocked it and you could see that lock coming up and I was in there and within 10 minutes yeah yeah probably within five minutes I was in there too yeah and uh, rock and roll, the uh, the bladder, I got off eBay with my eBay bucks, saved the day, I got a nice warm hug from a beautiful young lady, and she, everybody's happy. Thanks for watching my videos everyone, for good rippy.